This new Adobe Generative AI is going to change the way that we create our product photos. Now you can make a million dollar looking website in just a few minutes by converting your boring words into amazing images. Images that you will use for your website and your social media to increase the perceived value of your products, look more professional and ultimately increase your sales. Hey guys, it's the Econ Woo here and in this video I'm going to show you some examples of how you can use this Adobe Generative AI technology for your e-commerce website. And I will share some tips and tricks on how to get the best results. So let's get started in 3, 2, 1, yeah! Alright, so the first thing that we need is Photoshop. So if you don't have it yet, I'm gonna leave a link in the description that will direct you to this landing page. And here you just click on explore the new Photoshop and you will be able to get a free trial of seven days if you wanna try it out first. Now, once you download Photoshop or if you already have it, you're gonna have to go to your Adobe Creative Cloud. And in here, you're gonna scroll down until you see beta apps. And in here, you will be able to install the latest beta version of Photoshop, which is the one that has the generative field that we will be using in this video, all right? So once you install it, it will allow you to open it. Now we're gonna focus on content for e-commerce, but let me show you how powerful this generative AI is. Look, I was making this thumbnail for one of my videos, and in here, let me show you what I had to do before using this tool. So let's scroll down to all of the layers that I used, I wanted to put in between my hands a bar of soap, which is one of the e-commerce ideas that I was showing on this video. So look what I had to do. I had to make a soap. I added some uh, text, you know, with a bunch of filters to try to make it look like it was, you know, embedded in the soap. And I had to cut out my hands and put it there and applying a bunch of shadows and filters so it will look like it's in my hands. And this took me about two hours to do. But when this tool came out, I went back to this file and I selected this part of the image and I clicked on generate a bar of soap and look what the AI did in just five seconds. Just created <laughs> the perfect bar of soap with all the shadows and everything. I mean, that was amazing. Now let me show you something else that I created with this AI tool. So on my website, I have this product. And even though I like the minimalistic style of this website, I wanted to show this product in a box since they can buy it as part of a subscription, right? So I imported the image into Photoshop and I told it to create a fancy box with shirts inside. And this is what it created. But I wasn't happy with this. So I started telling it to make some changes, like change the size of the box, change the color of the box, then make it a little bit more snug, keep changing it a little bit, fix a little bit the right side, and then I told it to put it on top of a yoga mat just to get a lifestyle image. Now I'm gonna show you how to do all of this. We're gonna get a brand new image that I haven't touched and we're gonna create a cool product photo. We're also going to get a website banner and we're gonna improve it. Now let's start with a product photo. So let's go to our Discord channel and check out if there's any subscriber that wants a website review. Let's see. Let's try this one, Gera. This is a very active member of our community. So let's check out his store. By the way, if you want to get your website reviewed by me and by the community, or if you have some e-commerce selling questions, join our Discord server. We are over 2,700 members already, just fellow sellers like you and I trying to make some money online. So I invite you to come join us. Now, this website is pretty cool. I love the minimalistic style. It has UGC content. No, it has a bunch of nice features. But let's go ahead and see if we can improve one of their product pages. Maybe we can get this mock-up and make a lifestyle image out of it. All right, so I'm gonna copy the image and I'm going to create a new file in Photoshop. All right, now I'm gonna paste the image and we need to increase the canvas size. So I'm gonna go here and select the crop tool and then I'm going to click and hold one of the corners, hold Alt and hold Shift and drag it out a little bit, just like that, just to make it a little bit bigger. All right, press Enter. We're going to increase the size just a little bit more, just like that. Now let's start generating stuff. The first thing I wanna add is a desk right here, a table. So we're gonna select the rectangular marquee tool and we're gonna drag a rectangle around the area that we want the table to be in. And we're gonna click on Generative Fill. 
Now here we can input whatever we want Photoshop to generate for us. So I'm gonna put desk and let's generate. And it will give us three options, all right? Option one, option two, and option three. And the options are gonna appear right here on the right side. If you don't like any of them, you can just click again on generate or you can even change the text. Let's just try generating one more time so we can receive three more options. One, two, and three. All right, you know what? I think desk is not the right word. I wanna put maybe table, generate. Option one, option two, and option three. Let's generate three more. One, two, and three. All right, you know what? I kind of like this one, all right? I think we can work with this. Now, all of the generations that we created are right here, and you can click on any of those and it will open it. So let's go back to the option that we selected, and it will create a new layer right here with whatever was generated. You see, I'm going to move it. You see, I'm moving it, that's the area that it generated. So let's press Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac, just to go back. And now let's add something else. How about we add a little plant in here? All right, so let's select the rectangular marquee tool one more time, and let's make a rectangle right here where we want to put a desk plant. Option one, option two, and option three. All right, let me go ahead and select this area here, and I'm going to put black, flower pot and it changed the color of the pot all right option one option two and option three let's go ahead and leave option one now how about adding a lamp let's try to put uh, maybe light bulbs in here a lamp with light bulbs option one option two and option three oof i don't know let's move this so we can see it uh maybe we can do something with this. Let's drag this here and we put wood holding the lamps. Let's see. All right, I don't even know what that did. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, um, now when I made the selection, I started dragging the rectangle a little bit too close to the right side. So we have to uh, fix, you know, so we keep it symmetrical. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this area here, and now I'm gonna create on generative field, but I'm not going to type anything. And Photoshop is gonna guess what will go there. So let's click on generate and see what it does. And it generated the point of a pencil. Okay, let's, okay, that one's better. No, okay, so let's just leave it like that. All right, second option. That's good. Okay, so what else do people have on the desk? Maybe some keys. Okay, so let's add some keys here. So let's select that area and put keys. Now this works a lot better if you give a lot of detail, right? But you guys know that my English is not perfect. I struggle a lot, you know, when, when coming out with nouns, so you know, sometimes I have to even Google Translate the word in Spanish just to translate it to English because I don't even know how to say it in English. But anyways, keys. Let's see, option one, option two, and option three. All right, let's make this desk a little bit messy. Let's just leave option one. What about, just for fun, let's put a wallet right here, all right? So, leather wallet. Let's try it out. And there we go option one, option two, and option three. All right, so which one do you guys think looks the best? I'm gonna leave it like that. But you're seeing how this works, right? So when I created this rectangle here, I put it on top of the keys a little bit. So Photoshop took the initiative of putting the wall behind the key. All right, so I think this image is done. Now our next mission is to get a banner from a website and improve it. So for this one, we're gonna use one of my websites as an example. So let me know if you can see the issue with this website. Let's see. Well, the issue here is that there's too many graphics, all right? So graphics, 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 right? So I want to add some real products, not so many graphics. 
So I'm gonna get this banner and I'm gonna change it a little bit. Probably remove all of these icons here, all right? Like there's already too much, it's, it doesn't need it. So I added a photo of the banner inside of Photoshop. Now I'm going to select the rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to select this area right here, all right? And I'm gonna create a t-shirt. Let's see, option one, two, and three. I kind of like this one. You see how it got some of this blue icon here and it thought that it was the sleeve of a shirt and then it added the hand. You know, it has a great imagination. Let's generate a few more. One, two, and three. I'm going to keep generating images to see if we can find something good. All right, so look at this one. This one also looks pretty cool. Let's see, nice. Some of these options are pretty cool. You know, I like this one a lot. And I like it because it uses the colors of the logo. It uses the cyans, the magentas, the yellow, the oranges, right? It looks pretty cool. So, you know, I think this would be perfect for my banner. So what do you think? Keep in mind that this is still a beta. Imagine when this product improves and it's complete. It's gonna save us so much time. Now, like the video if you got some value out of it and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out.